Hey, and welcome to the Sticks and Stones podcast, everybody. I'm your host, Marcus, and today we're covering the COVID situation. Now, hopefully, as all of you know, we've been suffering from this pandemic since March 2020, and it's been hard for everyone. It's been hard for me. It's probably been pretty difficult for you. It's been difficult for everyone all around. Now, um, I think it's important to have an update with the recent news that's come out about COVID and the progress of the vaccine. And it's important to keep up to date on this situation so you can stay safe uh, and keen on the subject. Now, remember, it's really simple. Just be, be a flirt, be alert, try not to be afraid. That That's really all it is. Be alert, not afraid, you'll do fine. Um, when you panic, you've basically already lost the battle, especially with something like this. So... Um, this probably might seem a little bit boring to some of you, but um, I think it's important, and it is important to to keep up and to keep up to keep up to date with these things. Um, it, it's I think it's imperative that you learn about this at some point, whether you've been paying attention or not. Now, when when you're looking for information, you should probably check out the CDC or you know any other trusted um source for for this information uh according right now as i am recording this according to the new york times and various other sources there's 86.6 million people infected 48.6 million recovered uh, recoveries and 1.9 million deaths now here's the more positive side of covid we are really, really close to multiple different vaccines. Actually, I believe right now, multiple vaccines have been distributed across New York. Um, even more are being developed and cleared for safety for use. So hopefully this will all be a thing of the past within the next couple of months. Um, but until then, obviously, stay safe and take care of yourself. And please take the warning seriously. Like, whenever you get a warning about this, please take it seriously. Wear your mask. and Sanitize. Keep your hands clean. Don't touch your face. Six feet apart. All of that. Now, um, there's not really much to talk about COVID at this point in time besides how it's affected all of us and how it's affected the economy, which is a whole other episode for a whole other day. Um, but... As we're talking right now, the vaccines have been really they've been they've been getting worked on, and I think as right now as of now it's at uh, the Pfizer one is ninety five percent successful, which sounds amazing. Um, personally, I would want that number to be higher because ninety five percent five percent is still a pretty big uh, wide. <laughs> pretty big wide a pretty big margin of error so i i would want that number to hopefully go up and hopefully we can make this a thing of the past but um r really uh the vaccination program there's a couple of things you want to know um the safety of the vaccine is a top priority right now for the U at least for the u.s um a, a bunch of companies are working together and now they're coming up with a new tool i think it's called vsafe which is a uh, a way of monitoring monitoring the vaccine and the vaccine taker to increase your ability to fix anything with the vaccine or to support anyone that um has gotten the covid-19 uh, vaccine it's a it's a, i think a phone based app you can probably look it up right now if if you want um COVID the COVID-19 will uh the COVID-19 vaccination will help you will help protect you from getting COVID but two doses are needed. The way it works is depending on the specific vaccine you get, you're probably going to need to take a second shot like a month later after the first one. That's how you get the most protection um from the vaccine. But it's it, that might seem like a pain now, but you get you probably get the flu shot every single year and a tetanus shot every couple of years, so it's really not that bad. Especially if you're only paying like what, five dollars a dose. Right now, from from uh, what I'm looking at, it says like five dollars a dose, at least from Pfizer. Um, 
and it, it will be distributed for free. It's just the people uh, giving you the vaccine might charge you a tiny bit. Now, you should probably get recommendations. Uh, where the CDC recommends that you take the COVID-19 uh, vaccine when you're recommended to. As soon as you're offered it, just get it. It's really, it's probably going to be really cheap to get. Um, the vaccine is limited, so you might as well get your safety, uh, what's the word, insured for, for the time being at least. Uh, the supplies for the COVID-19 vaccine, right now, it's in really, really high uh, demand and it's very very the supply is very limited right now but they will increase within next within the next couple of months um personally i believe that we're probably going to be all vaccinated or the us who ca the people who can get vaccinated within i think hopefully october is is right around when we're all going to be vaccinated that's that sounds like it's really far away but trust me it's not all that we're probably going to be way sooner um, but I believe we'll be back to normal life about October. Um, now, you are going to have some side effects. It's basically guaranteed at this point. No vaccine has no side effects. It's Everyone gets them. Um, the side effects that you should expect right now are some pain and some swelling, some fever, some chill, some pain and swelling where you get the shot, some fever, some chills, a tiredness, maybe a headache. Uh, make sure when you get the shot, exercise your arm a bit, make, keep it cool so the swelling isn't that bad, and dress lightly and drink plenty of fluids after you, if, if you are feeling any of these side effects. Just try to take care of them. Don't worry, it's not going to kill you, it's not going to do anything super messed up to you. Those are just common side effects from any vaccine that you can get. I know when I get the flu vaccine, um, I sometimes have uh, a fever for a day or two. It's nothing insane. Um, your taxes are going towards getting the vaccine. It's the, the distribution, the, the distribution um, of the vaccine is free. But the provi people who provide the uh, might give you an administration fee for get for getting the shot. It's probably like five dollars, six dollars. Um, right now, the first vaccines are being used under the Emergency Use Authorization uh, Pact, the EUA from the USDA uh, from the um, FDA and the USDA. Uh, some multiple other vaccines are still being developed and tested right now as we speak. Um, if more COVID-19 vac uh, vaccines are approved by the FDA, then we will be getting more and we'll hold public meetings and all will be well. And lastly, the COVID-19 um, vaccines are important to help us stop this pandemic. But what's really going to help stop this pandemic is if everyone started actually following these rules that we have in place for um, COVID-19. You're going to want to socially uh, distance. You're going to want to wear your mask. Make sure you sanitize. Um, coming, I'm going to be honest. I had COVID, I want to say, about in November. That that's right about when I had it. Uh, my dad got it and then everyone else got it. And to me, it was a head cold, but... It, it, it's it's uh, it's one of the most painful things I think I ever went through because it was just annoying to have, you know, they had the sore throat, we had the nausea, and the, all that stuff. So please, please take care of yourself. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Make sure you are, um, make sure you're safe with this because you matter, the health of your family matters, and the health of whoever else you care about matters. Take this seriously, but be alert. Don't be afraid. Now, the hospitalization rate has taken a small dip, not an insane one, but it has taken a small dip, showing that we are somewhat flattening the curve, which is awesome. But you still don't want to go out. You want to make sure that this is done and over with as soon as possible. And the only way of doing that is by doing the hard thing and just taking care of yourself and making sure that you're doing everything correctly. 
um, that that's really really it for for the vaccine. Uh, I can I can give you guys maybe a short personal story um, of COVID. <laughs> story time with with the host of Sticks and Stones now, I suppose. Um, so when I had it, for when I had it, my dad got it. Um, my little brother got it. And then finally, my mother got it, and then I got it last. Uh, my dad was, he was out. He was done for about two, three weeks. He was just out of it. My mother, she, she's amazing. She powered through it in like two, three days. She was fine, no issue. Uh, my little brother, though, he's he's about eight now, and it just, it wasn't pretty. So, it really no one should have to go through this and it's terrible that anyone went through it and it's especially worse that my little brother got it because he's so prone to getting sick um when i had it it was like a head cold for me i i had it for i think two weeks three weeks max and and it went away relatively fine but it's it's not something i should have had to experience if the rules and if the social distancing and the sanitation rules were followed, you shouldn't have to go through it either if you're going through it right now. Um, if you're being safe and taking care of yourself and someone else isn't, then th that's an issue because you really should be, everyone, this is a group effort. This is a team effort. We should all be working together to flatten the curve, regardless of your political views, how you feel about anything really, we should all be working together. Because at the end of the day, it's it's not us and them the people. It's we the people. And we have to take care of ourselves. And we have to work together. Because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. We're all, all of us Americans are in this together. Everyone in the world is in this together. Regardless of where you're from, what language you speak, what you believe in. This is a, this is a pandemic that has affected all of us. No matter who. So, please... Work together, take care of yourselves, um, and and make sure that you you honestly just really make sure that you're taking care of yourself. And I've said this a lot. I think I've said this like eight times at this point. But seriously, work together, and hopefully, maybe by May we'll be fine. All right, that's really it for this episode. I just wanted to get this out. I wanted to make sure this was out there for you people. Um, have an awesome day and stay safe. Peace.